Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you a little bit about how to use that pen tool in a more efficient way. I know at first it seems like it's pretty complex and it's a little clumsy, but if you get the hang of the shortcut keys and understand exactly you know how it thinks, you're going to end up with a really good drawing tool, something that you'll use all the time. And I'm going to go ahead and make a new document. And in this new document, we're going to change some of the settings here because I wanted to uh, have a different color to start off with here. And I'm going to make it have a, uh, let's see, I'm a dark purple. I'm going to give it a, a bigger point. And I'm going to have it fill with um, an orange. Now, I'm going to tear off the pen tool menu by holding down, clicking the little tear off item on the end, and have those buttons ready to go. Now, one of the things that you want to do is learn how to draw some straight lines. Now, you know you could probably click straight lines like this, and it's going to make your lines. But notice it is trying to make a fill. So maybe right now, while we're working, let's just not have the fill going on. So I'm going to click back with my black arrow tool onto it, and I'm going to turn off that fill. So this is great and all, but how do I make a line that goes perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical? Well, the answer is still with the pen tool, and it has to do with a shortcut you might want to use. So I'm going to tap somewhere, and I want you to follow along and try and draw the same thing I do. If I hold down Shift, it's going to draw the line straight out to the right. If I go downward, below the point I last did, I'm going to choose Shift, holding down Shift on the keyboard, it'll go straight down. And then let's go back over here to the end. Ooh, I wasn't quite in the right spot. And I'm going to hold down shift still here, but you notice it didn't it didn't actually go straight up and down because I closed my path. I had a little circle on my pen and that closed path had to do an angle, so it made an angle. So, how could I draw a square more effectively? Well, this is where smart guides come into play. I'm going to go view and I'm going to choose smart guides. Smart guides is control U, turn them on. Now, whenever you have smart guides on, you'll see that they flash on your screen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here beside what I just drew. I don't know what that is. Maybe a rhombus? No. I don't remember. Anyway, tap, hold down shift, tap again. And now you'll see that I can go straight down like that. And you notice it's intersecting with this other line that I made from the previous drawing. So now when I move over this time, it's going to end up intersecting. You see I go a little bit further out, it doesn't. But if I go right there, it intersects right on the money below my first point. And then if I hold down shift, I can take it up until I get the circle tool on my pen. And I've made a... Um, square that lines up with all perpendicular and vertical lines. In this quick video, I've showed you how to create perfectly horizontal and perfectly vertical lines. I also showed you how to go into view and bring up your smart guides. What I want you to do is use this time to make more on your page. And that's it.